Hi there. Now for this question, we're given the sum of these two algebraic fractions, g of x, and asked to show that it reduces down to x plus 1 over x minus 2 for x greater than 3. So to do this, what I'll do first of all, though, is just copy down what we're given. I won't write equals. I don't think you should write equals, but I leave it up to you. I think it should be identical to. So g of x is identical then to x over x plus 3. And then we're adding to this the other fraction, 3 times 2x plus 1. And that's all divided by the quadratic expression x squared plus x minus 6. Now, I'm assuming that you've seen some of my previous tutorials on adding and subtracting algebraic fractions. If not, and you're still finding difficulty with this, do check them out. I'll take you slowly through this though, okay, the stages. What I'd want to do is check to see whether there's a lowest common multiple for the denominators here, because they're different at the moment. And that means checking out to see whether that quadratic expression in the denominator here factorizes. So just copy out the first bit here. And indeed it does. It's going to be two factors and it factorizes to x plus 3 times x minus 2. And that's looking good because I can see that we've got an x plus 3 here. So all I need to do is have my denominator then as x plus 3 times x minus 2. So what I'm going to do is times top and bottom of this fraction here by x minus 2 over x minus 2. In other words, just timesing this fraction by what is essentially 1. But it's going to change the look of it. And then we've got plus 3 times 2x plus 1 all over x plus 3 times x minus 2. And so I can see here now that the lowest common multiple for the bottom is going to be x plus 3 then times x minus 2. And so for this first fraction here, the denominator was multiplied by x minus 2. And you can see I need to multiply the numerator with x minus 2. This one here just stays as plus 3 times 2x plus 1. So all I need to do now is just simplify the numerator. So we've therefore got that g of x is identical to, and expanding the top here, we've got x squared minus 2x, so x squared minus 2x, then plus 6x plus 3, so plus 6x plus 3, and all of this is divided by x plus 3 times x minus 2. Don't expand the brackets here, we've got one term on the bottom consisting of two factors, which is is useful to us. Okay. Grouping up the top, I can see we've got x squared plus 4x and then plus 3. And that is all divided then by x plus 3 times x minus 2. And then the top factorizes a couple of factors now. And it factorizes to x plus 1 times x plus 3. And that's looking good because I can see now that x plus 3 is a common factor in both the top and the bottom. So we can cancel it out. And that leaves us with what we had to show, which is that we get x plus 1 all over x minus 2. And there you go.